This video is brought to you by BetUS Sportsbook and Casino. All right, man, we got us another video sponsored by BetUS, man. Y'all go to that link I got in the description. Get paid on your knowledge. You go get up to 125% deposit bonus, up to 2,000. Yeah, it's a way for you to actually get paid off your knowledge. Try it out, try it out. Go look at some spreads, some wages and see if it actually fit your knowledge you can come up you can come up see what if i told you that zimmer is actually gonna likely do more with less yes yes that's the key and i'm gonna I'm prove it in this video from a live that we did i'm expecting him to dominate yeah and do more with less see i remember i do remember when Jerry was talking about all in and a lot of fans got mad because he said, we go have to do more with less. So it's a lot of our fans that when they hear more with less, they think Jerry playing with us. They think, oh man, he's being goofy again. Nah, this is actually the plan of Mike Zimmer. So I've broken this down based on a live that we previously did, Landlord and Star. Check this out. Two things to finish up. Um, you worked out four guys today. What are you looking for uh, at defense, man? Well, really someone, you know, Sam Williams was a big loss. Uh, we anticipated him being, you know, 70% of the time plus. Uh, we anticipated him being, you know, 70% of the time. Williams was a big loss. Uh, we anticipated him being, you know, 70% of the time playing. Um, so we're, we're looking for some more uh, depth at end, really, at the end of the day. Does the, uh, the loss of Sam Williams alter the, the plan that Zimmer has for you in any way, or does that mean, does your plan stay the same and it's just a matter of getting guys like Marshawn, Nealon, and, and some other guys to kind of step up? Yeah, you know, I think it's more, it doesn't change my plan at all, but it, it needs Marshawn has to step up and, you know, more young guys or whoever we bring in. And it may mean I have to do more. You know, the loss of Sam was uh, so huge. Um, that's really like my brother, you know. Um, and it, it really hurts. So, you know, those times where I might get a break or that substitution, I might have to stay on for a couple more plays and things like that, depending on situations and things like that. So it really ramps up what conditioning, and what phase we have to be in uh, for these games. And, you know, I put more on D-Law also, you know, um, year 11 vet and there's no more like, oh, you know, we don't have a DA or a Dante Fowler anymore. And, uh, you know, losing those cru crucial role pieces at this point in the season so early on uh, really hurts and it's going to rise more for him to step up too. Let's talk about this. See, because I'm going to tell you why that 70% stood out. Because if you look at what he was saying, what he was going to be doing with Sam Williams, Dan Quinn was not doing that. Huh. What it says is Zimmer has a plan to try to beat you with better playmakers versus Dan had a plan to beat you with freshness. Mm -hmm. You see the key difference? See, cause I had a snaps right here. You can name anybody except for Michael Parsons. Nobody was even close to 70%. You see what I'm saying? Just yeah. name somebody real quick. So this Demarcus Lawrence <laughs> for the year he was fifty seven percent. So if we, let's look up oh Armstrong, Dorrance, there he is, forty two percent. Sam Williams. Let me look at Sam Williams from last year. Twenty eight percent. Twenty eight percent. Let me look uh. up. Let me look up uh, Fowler from last year. He about at 30 or something. 25 percent. Yeah. So basically, you could tell they cleared the slate for Sam Williams. Right. And it also says yeah. Zimma has a different philosophy. It's almost like the opposite. of. It's almost like Kelly Moore in reverse, where Dan Quinn wanted exactly. to beat you with his system versus Mike mm -hmm. McCarthy want to beat you with stars. 
Zimmer want to beat you with stars. You see what I'm saying? He want to keep yeah. them boys on the field. That's big. That's why I believe this defense is going to be better. Yeah, it's, it's a reliance yeah. on playmaking versus volume. Michael Vick at BetUS.com. Catch an incredible 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits, plus 10% gambler's insurance. BetUS, my online sports book and casino. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Who you think Who you think will be the substitute for that 70%? I got my ideas. Neely. You Neely think they're going to give them the whole 70 out the gate? Yep. If, yep. if he can show that he can handle <laughs> yeah. it, yeah, they go give it to him. I think they go give it to him. I don't know. Okay. I think, I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking it might be a combination. Because I think, you know, we seen Overshawn rush out the edge from in Texas. They might unlock a little bit of that, especially with him mugging the eight gaps. They can put, you know what I'm saying? They can manipulate him. They can have Dono coming down sometimes. I think they're going to, they, do you think we at a point where we might have to manufacture some pressure now? I think we got enough playmakers to make the pressure. I think we got some. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Micah is pressure by himself. Oh, Sam would have been a Sam would have been pressure by himself. Let me tell you who go go off under this new theory. Osa. Go ahead. Osa. Because also Osa already got crazy. Anthem blessed me like with a hundred dollars of super chats. I'm finna stop the show, bro. Jesus. <laughs> wow. This dude doesn't like a hundred dollars worth of and we got to stop Amp it just Ford. a second and take these good this boy to drop. Man, shout out to Amp. And then Amp keep dropping more and more. Like, like, shut up and take my super chat. This boy done dropped five, then he dropped ten, then he dropped fifteen. Now he done dropped twenty. Hey. I man. don't know what's going on. I can't see what's going on on my channel, man. But uh if y'all did give, I appreciate you. If you didn't, I still appreciate you. For tuning in, so you done turned your phone to the good. side, just letting you know, landlord. All right, we yeah, good. we good. But I think that's gonna be big. I think that's. I don't think a lot of people was anticipating that. That's why so many people were so down on us losing those edges. We, who we lost Fowler, we we lost Armstrong, and we didn't replace him. So, it, we so, and then go look at Kansas City. Kansas City leave they best players on the field. <laughs> I gotta ask you one thing about that before we move on. Yeah, you know I've been I've been pushing for Ghostin to be back at his original position. We seen how he played defensive end at Iowa. He was a strong guy. He knew how to set the edge. He knew how to play the run. Also was like I mean um, Chancellor was like that at Iowa for real. He was a super strong player. I liked him coming out, but ever since he been in Dallas, we put him in another position. I think this is a great time to give him some defensive end reps, and they started to do it. I, I kind of predicted it before they did it. So now they're giving them defensive end reps. I ain't going to lie. I, I said, I'm not going to say he a pro bowler out the gate, but I'm going to say this. you going to notice 99 more than you ever been before. Yeah. If they give him defensive end reps, Chancey going to be a damn good defensive end. Now, I ain't going to say he going to be an all pro. But he gonna be a much better defensive end than he was a defensive tackle. I'll say that. Mm. And see, go ahead, Star. I know you had to want to jump in on that because I keep talking. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I'm I'm gonna go I'm just thinking laugh. Well, honestly, you showing the snaps just made me so mad and just made me <laughs> laugh because I already had started calling Dan Quinn last season Dan Moore because I said he is the Kellen Moore. <laughs> and that's terrible you want to try to beat people with your scheme this man made us draft sam williams and then only had him on the field 28 of the time percent it's of like time. Yep. what are you doing like yep. it, it came to a point with dan quinn where we were just constantly questioning what are you doing like what are you doing why are dt's stunting out of the of the middle at the goal line why is donovan wilson at the goal line when we need bigger bodies to stop 
stop the run. It's just so much crazy stuff that Dan Quinn did that it's like it is night and day. It's 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 night and day. Um, and this is why we're gonna be better, Miles. I saw your clip that you showed to Nate Newton where he said that uh, uh, Mike Zimmer is the number one draft pick. Yeah. Uh, that we added to this year. Yep. And it's like I couldn't agree more because it's like we're finally getting away from this scheme that Dan Quinn was just so obsessed with. And I admit we didn't get him Bobby Wagner, so I, I give him that. But at the same time, as Landlord said, like you just didn't really utilize players to their strength. And I always come back to Dan Quinn, who did you really develop your whole time that you was here? It's like the defense was just riding on their own talents, but you wasn't really making nobody better. You actually, Micah, who should be unequivocally the best play, the best defensive player in the league. Now his peers are saying he's he's uh, ranked 16. You know he's all right. You know they gave him second. You know second year, uh, second all pro because you made your players just look like are y'all really that good? Maybe not. Maybe y'all are falling off. And I think like landlord said, like you said about all of these players, they've all they've all said they're extremely yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like, Why was Envy like playing Edge? <laughs> it just was crazy makes no sense. Dan was doing. But it's like I think Zimmer's going to actually play these players to their strength. That's why I think that they were super excited to play for Zimmer because they're like it's like a breath of it, everybody is saying it. Jay Lou was saying everybody is like, yeah, I'm really excited for this scheme he got because they're like I can return back to what made me a good player because Dan Quinn had us out here looking crazy. That's all I was saying. Like he had mm. us out there looking crazy. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Mm. I got a couple of more, man, and then we'll. Let me get to these super chats real quick, man. That boy Anthem blessed me so hard. But then let me ask another question. Why was Navelle Gallimore at the wide <laughs> nine? <laughs> See, Nobody I did. thought he was playing when he said, when when we when we got Bell, I looked at him and said, I can see him as a linebacker. That's a I was, linebacker. I was like, I thought he would play it. I was oh, like, Oh hell no. He played. He was serious. <laughs> He dead was serious. serious. He was dead serious. So it's it's pretty clear from the people who just watched that, you know, the previous live that we did. Uh, and we broke that down so that you can really focus and kind of look into the future. I'm trying to help the fans kind of look into the future where you can see where we were going. And it does make sense. It's, it's exactly what we just talked about in this video. It's literally what we saw with the difference between Kellen Moore and Mike McCarthy. See, Kellen Moore was a good offense, right? It was a top offense with that, right? But Mike McCarthy is better because it infused more common sense because in that offense, that offense is going to target your playmakers or what landlord said, spam your playmakers where they go keep going at it's the same thing with them on this defense that's what's getting ready to happen instead of relying on rotation keeping your guys fresh you more so rely on their maturity to be ready that's what you rely on you rely on the fact that michael parsons now spent a lot of time in the off season to prepare for this moment so when they're called upon, they can give you the 70% reps. And I mean your key guys. So that's gonna be the biggest key. That's gonna be the biggest key that you're getting ready to see. So again, this video is brought to you by BetUS. And if you go ahead and try it, take a few dollars, try it out. You get 125% deposit bonus up to 2000 and i have the link in the description so if you want to kind of play around with it go look at the odds and kind of try to see if you can apply this type of knowledge because i'm telling you a lot of people are thinking we getting ready to be average and this is a good time to bet against the crowd it's your boy boss cowboy sports bringing you another video where your voice matter y'all stay up peace this video is brought to you by bet us sportsbook and casino